Greetings, viewers. This is CP666 signing on for not a video about this, but uh, this is my affectionately what I call the craplet. <laughs> um, this is an Acer Switch 110 model SW1-011. Here's your CPU, an X5Z8300, which is actually a true quad-core CPU, which is kind of neat. 2 gigs of RAM, ouch, I thought it had 4. I know that it's got 32 gigabytes of storage, it's eMMC Flash. For whatever reason, it's running 32-bit Windows, which comes as kind of a shock, uh, which is probably one of the big reasons why this device will not run Windows 11. Uh, because it will not. Uh, the CPU is not supported, and obviously I don't think Windows 11 even has a 32-bit version. I think they got rid of that. So, yeah, there you can see the, uh, I almost called it an M.2. I don't think it's M.2, I think it's EMMC, which is a different platform. It's got the world's worst wireless card. This thing is a piece of garbage. Uh, if the signal gets even slightly weak, it just cannot do anything. So... Plus, it's only 2.4 gigahertz, so that affects your speed pretty badly. And speaking of speed, this thing is woefully underpowered at this point. Uh, I had a number of reviews on my channel back when this thing was new, talking about the device, and at the time I didn't think it was too bad, but evidently the rest of the internet thought that it was bad, and they flamed the crap out of me for those. I really don't understand why, because you go to a review to have an unbiased opinion, of something that you're looking into buying, but quite frankly, if you've already got an opinion of the device and you think it's a piece of garbage, why are you coming to a review of the device and slamming somebody who has a different opinion? I don't understand. It's just one of those things about the internet that might just never be described. For whatever reason, the HD graphics shows up, which I think is kind of funny. They're not very good, um, but it's there, I guess. Uh, it was a $250 device when it was new, and again, back then, this thing was wonderful value for money, but I've got my use out of it. You know, it's been five years since I have I bought this thing, and it's kind of a little flimsy. I have had to replace it once because the uh, the ports on the side broke. I think the interposer card that this that this is invariably on actually broke or became disconnected or something because none of this stuff worked. Uh, the battery in particular is pretty weak on this now. I used to be able to get an entire day out of it, and now I can barely even get three hours. And obviously you can see it's it's been scratched up. It's been heavily used. I've rode this thing hard and put it away wet, and I've also had to replace the keyboard. Um, and I went ahead and did that, but it's time for this thing to be retired, so let's get the replacement out. Yes, that's right. Surface Go 2. I've heard some pretty mixed things about these. Some people love them and some people hate them. Um, but the thing is, is I wanted a device that basically covered a couple of things. Number one, it was Windows 11 compatible. Number two is that it had a, it was a Windows tablet device, basically. And number three, the keyboard detached from the computer you know, two-in-one convertible, and unfortunately there aren't a, a whole lot of options for that anymore, because that particular product category has been overrun by Chromebooks at this point. Not that those are a bad choice for somebody who's using it for school, well, they might be in some situations, but, you know, for like a high school student or whatever, they're not too bad. But uh, that's not what I'm after. So the Surface is pretty much the only option, and this seemed to be the only option they actually had. The other thing that really kind of, I would have kind of liked that this has that a lot of things didn't, is that it's relatively small. So it will actually fit with my existing case, which is sitting around here somewhere. It'll fit in this thing, which I used to carry it around. So that'll be nice. But I gotta unwrap this thing and get it set up. Okay, here's the plasticless box. There's nothing really on any of the sides. Let's see, Surface Go 2, Windows 10. It includes Windows 10 Home in S mode, of course. We could take it out of that because S mode is garbage. The power supply, support for 802.11ax, Bluetooth 5.0. Really nice stuff. You can pause the video if you want to read that. 
and of course license agreements that I will very, very much read carefully and agree to. Okay, so let's see if we can get this open. Probably not with one hand, unfortunately. Oh, it doesn't even want to open at all. Okay, so now here is the device itself. So we'll get that out. It's very lightweight. This, I'm guessing, is a packet of license agreements and software information and whatever. It's probably a manual, you know. Not that you get much of a manual these days anyway. This, I'm guessing, contains the power supply. I think that's probably it. It's a lot of empty packaging, but at least it's cardboard, I suppose. I think it's cardboard. It's treated cardboard, though, so, I mean... Really? It's not that environmentally friendly. I thought we were supposed to be turning into a green society. Alright, there it is, with its nice shiny display. That will stay shiny for all of about five seconds. It does have a little fold-out thing, which I think is very nice. Now, all the ports, I think, are on the side. So, I guess that's where the charger plugs in. And you get a single USB-C port, and you do get a headphone jack. All right, cool stuff. Let's get the type cover out. All right, here's your type cover. It is really just a cover, that's it. There's no USB ports on it or anything, so I kind of lose out on that. But it's nice that it's an actual chiclet keyboard. And not, uh, not just, you know, rubber keys. So that's neat. So I'm going to have to see if I can learn how to do this. It should be relatively easy. They actually do give you directions on here for how to install it. So we'll get that done. Okay, here we go. Very easy install. It's actually better than the Acer Switch 110 is in that I think it's a little bit more magnetic. You do need the sand though. Uh, the other thing you can do is you can lift this up attach it like that to give yourself a little bit of an incline. That's another way to use it. I'll probably use it like this. Let's see if this thing actually has a charge. Let's also see if it comes with Windows 11 under the box, because it might. The logo is getting simpler and simpler. It's not even blue anymore. I'll let it do its thing. It's so nice to have a good device like this. No, this might be Windows 10. This keyboard is also backlit, I believe. I think. I don't actually know. Is it? Oh yeah, it is. I can see the backlighting. Okay, so it does work. Oh, this feels so much nicer than the trackpad on the Switch 110. I'm still not a fan of this design, but yeah, that's so much nicer. I'm gonna do its Cortana there. thing. I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. It's got better speakers. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. How about a little bit of shut up? Use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet. Thank you. Goodbye. Okay, let me see here. Can I adjust the brightness on this thing? Oh, there we go. You don't hit the function key. So it looks like you get a couple of different levels of backlighting as well. 
Excellent. And all the regions now. I'm going to go ahead and I'll set this up off camera. You've seen this a thousand times. Uh, normally I wouldn't do this. But my other one was configured with the Microsoft account. So I'll just go ahead and configure this one for a Microsoft account as well. Why not? Oh god, Hal's back. Alright, so now we're, I think, in the final phases of setup. I wonder how out of date this is going to be. Because who knows how long that's been sitting on the shelf. It might take several minutes. It's the initial setup, so it might actually not be lying. I guess we'll find out. Oh look! Brand new device, and it already has problems. Doesn't have much of a charge. Alright, go away. I'll deal with you in a minute. But yeah, no, see, even at 26%, that's about the same amount of lifetime that the other one was telling me I was going to get at 73, so... 70-something, anyway. So yeah, that's cool. I'll just have to get this set up to my liking. And we'll see where we go from there. First things first, I'm going to take this stupid thing out of S mode so I can install proper applications. Well, I guess that answers just how out of date this is. Wow. Look at this crap. Look what they try and tell you is so much better about S mode. Why? If you want that, just buy a freaking iPad. Like, I mean, seriously. Really? Please do. Thank you very much. Or don't. Here we go. Okay, you're out of S mode. Cool. Good. That's the way it should be. I just gotta wait for all this. I noticed it's only running 1909s. This thing's been sitting on the shelf for a while. Okay, so now that there's a little bit less lighting... Let me see. There is... what the backlit keyboard looks like. Pretty cool. I actually, uh... I think it looks really nice. Okay, well it took a little bit longer than I really hoped it would, but it looks like we're just about done. Uh, at least with the updates side of things. I can't get it to go any further, it's still only running 20H2, but I think it probably wants to jump straight to Windows 11 first, and it doesn't have the Windows 11 update available. So I'll give it, you know, maybe a week, maybe a month or so. At which point, maybe it will actually update to Windows 11, or maybe it'll update to 21H1, or 21H2 for that matter, when that comes out. We'll see. Uh, but now i got to install all my programs and get everything set up. Okay, as the camera is about to run out of battery, I don't think I'm missing anything. I was going to change the desktop background, but I actually think I kind of like the one that it chose. Looks pretty cool. So we'll leave it at that, and uh, I'll say thank you for watching. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them down below.